Hey guys, it's Zane Princess here. I'm just back with a video that I've been wanting to make for a really long time. And just so you know, you might see me cry in this video. <laughs> because I'm already feeling a bit crazy. <laughs> like, not crazy, but like really emotional right now. So if you're not prepared to see me cry, or if you don't like these type of videos, don't watch it. Okay, but for those of you who want to, I thank you. And if you stay through the whole video, please tell me in the comments. Um, considering how I'm feeling right now, I think it's the best time to make this kind of video and let you know, guys know what's wrong with me, or what's sometimes going on with me and why I don't make videos for you guys sometimes. And the reason is that I've been dealing with depression, anxiety, and a lot of fears and social isolation and emotional deprivation for about 12 years. And for that reason, when I form any type of friendship with someone or relationship with someone, I tend to get a bit too attached. And because I haven't been around people that much. And even when I am around people, um, it's hard for me to express what I'm feeling sometimes and control my emotions because of the non-human contact that I had. I mean, I did have some contact, but it's, I was mostly isolated because of the place, that like, environment that I was living in before. So it was really hard for me to open up. And then when I do, I sound like, I sound immature and like a child, you know, like a, I'm, I'm a 24 year old adult, but I sound like a freaking 16 year old teen or someone who just started puberty. <laughs> but, um, it takes a lot for me to even approach someone to my feelings and tell someone how I'm feeling because I'm, I'm scared that people will leave me because people have left me before. People that I cared about, um, they've left me in the greatest time of my need and I was, I was there for them before and I just thought that they would do the same for me and just listen to me and, I don't know, help me through something because when I came back from Serbia to here, it was five years ago, but I still needed a, a lot of help and I still need a lot of help from my family um, because there's a lot of things that I've carried on I carried, I carried along with me from that journey to here and when you've lived in a, that country for seven years because in Serbia people are very different they really um, they really teased me a lot and bullied me and that's why I became socially isolated and then when I came here I brought that all with me and I hope you guys can understand what I'm talking about. It was just really hard for me to approach people with just my emotions in general. I just feel like no one cares sometimes. You know, that's not true, but I just feel like that. And um, I get a bit jealous. I mean, we all get a bit jealous, but I have abnormal fears, so I have fear that someone will leave me, which is the fear of abandonment and also have a zagoraphobia or something, which is the fear of being forgotten. So, I, I, when I form friendships, I tend to cling on to them because I don't want to lose that person. And if you're particularly special to me, then I will contact you a lot. Um, sometimes you even seem like an immature brat. If I do, I seriously, I know what's wrong with me. I know that I have a lot of things to deal with and a lot of shit. Um, some people, they don't understand when you tell them. That's why, like, that's why I don't talk about my emotions so much. That's why I don't express them because depression, anxiety and fears and low self-confidence, low self-esteem issues are really hard to understand if you're not experiencing the same thing. Unless you're a really understanding person, in which case, congratulations to you. You're amazing. 
and have the patience to listen to someone. In which case, I don't have a lot of people to listen to me. My sister doesn't really care much. I mean, she does, but she doesn't listen to what I need to her to listen to sometimes. And it really hurts me because you would think that she would because she's been through some things that I have I am going through right now. So I would think that she'll be here more for me or something. For my cousins who I spent most of my childhood with and so I don't even care. And it hurts. And then the people at college, you know, they save me from time to time. Because well, you know, the people who I don't know, but they still help me more and they're uh, there for me and they hug me when they see that I'm sad. And I just sometimes need someone to listen to me for like five minutes. And just, I don't know, offer some advice or something or just even hug me. Like that's human contact. People, if you know someone who's going through depression and anxiety, and some really hard things in life, be there for them. Don't leave them because if you do leave them, it's gonna make that person feel even worse and maybe think about even suicide. Okay, and I have, I'm gonna admit that I have three or five times already in my whole life. I've never done anything to myself, I've never hurt myself or tried to hurt myself in any way, not that I even would, but it came to mind a few times and I don't know it's it's really hard to approach actually this, this few people that I really want to tell this to and if you see this video and you know it's you well now you know why I'm like the way I am sometimes and yes I get a bit jealous when some people pay to pay um, a little more attention to someone else. I know it's really immature. I know exactly what's wrong with me, and that, and I'm immature. I'm mature enough to admit that, and I'm working on it. I'm. I have help. Um, my my doctors know. My psychologist, of course, she knows. I have two psychologists. I have one in my college, and I have one in gen in general. He helps me and but I just need some like someone to talk to sometimes and it, it doesn't work right because people just don't understand like I said if you don't if you're not suffering through this as well you don't understand the other person I mean if you do then you're fucking awesome and I love you okay I, but I just want you to let you guys know that sometimes when I'm feeling like this I won't be able to make a video for you guys and therefore sometimes I don't make a video for five days and so only because of college it's because of how I'm feeling at that particular day and sometimes it lasts for a few days at a time depending on what is going on in my life so I have a lot of family struggles I mean a lot of us do I have some health issues and stuff that I need to deal with it's just it's not easy getting on here and putting up a happy face for you guys, even though you guys do help me out a lot. You guys help me through so much. It's unbelievable. Um, because if I didn't have you guys, and if I have, didn't have Dragon Ball Z either, or Chris, Sean, Eric Vale in my life, and I, I don't know if I'll be here right now, because these guys are a big part of making me who I am today. And f for me sitting here in this chair, making this video for you, and just want to let you guys know that if you know someone who's going through this, you be there for them. And you be there for them. Good. Do you understand? Don't criticize them. Help them. If anything, um, don't, don't move away from them. Okay, because what that person needs is comfort. Okay, they need someone to talk to. I don't... They just need someone to talk to. That's it. Okay? And if you see that person is getting uneasy, you let them know that it's okay. And that you're right there next to them if, you, if they need you. Because if you don't let them know that, and you just move away from them, and you think that giving them time will be better for them, no. 
Okay, giving them time is not better. Okay, maybe at least a little bit. If you hear them crying, leave them crying for a few hours and then come back and see if they're okay. Or, you know, or just sit beside them. Don't say anything sometimes. It's better not to say anything than to say something, but let them know that you're there for them. If they need someone to talk to, right? Or if they need someone quickly, okay, just be let, let them know that you're there for them, okay? Because that means a lot to us. So I just hope you guys understand what I'm trying to tell you here. Um, I hope you guys don't have... Um, if you guys have anything to say to me in the comments about this, just let me know. I love reading the comments and I really need some, you know, especially these kind of people that you need support. So if, I mean, I'm not asking you to write down a comment if you don't need, if you don't want to, but if you see this video and you have something to say to me and you've stayed through all of these 11 minutes, I thank you so much. I love you so much. I really do. You guys helped me through a lot of shit, and I hope you guys know that. So, thank you so much for watching this video. It took a lot of courage to make this, to be honest. I've been wanting to make this for a while. <laughs> but, um, thank you for watching, guys. I love you all so incredibly much, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!